I'm going to the grocery store with my mom now. Mike, come on! Today my daughter will be doing her own grocery shopping. I know a lot of you have been asking about her high raw lifestyle and I wanted to give you a little insight today. The first step in this process is to teach them how to grocery shop. I don't help her at all in this process. I truly treat her as if I'm not even there. Sometimes I do have to intervene because she'll get carried away with her curiosity for new snacks, but for the most part, I let her do her thing. The great part is I shop at Sprouts frequently, so she is familiar with the store. She knows where everything is, and I'm excited because I feel like she is shopping as if she's done it a million times. Most of the items she chose I approved of. The only thing that I swapped out was the green grapes for the purple grapes. But for the most part, I am so proud of how she's taking control. When I was on my juice fast, I didn't share my juice with her. It was a little expensive to sustain alone, so I didn't want to increase the cost by sharing. Now that my juice fast is over, I juice for her daily. Her favorite juice is cucumber and pineapple juice. Very simple, but tasty. Most of her green veggies are served in her smoothies. I found that to be the easiest way to get in her herbs and leafy greens. Her favorite vegetable is kale. Luckily, I don't have to serve kale in her smoothies because she likes them sauteed. As I mentioned, she is high raw, so I do give her cooked foods such as homemade mashed potatoes, tempeh, steamed broccoli, yogurt, scrambled tofu, and that's just to name a few. Her favorite fruit is strawberries, coconut, and pomegranates. I am in love with the person she is becoming. For those who may not know, she is 7 years old, going on 30, and I adore her so much. She was checking in with me a little throughout this process because she didn't think I would have approved of things like raw kombucha or sparkling water, but I reassured her that it's her day to shop and I'm just here to support. It's time to check out and she's still on duty. She has to unload her own grocery and load them back up herself. The cashier was looking at me crazy for standing aside while she did it, but I quickly let her know that I have a kid in training. Kids need to know how to grocery shop. My mom didn't teach me, unfortunately, but I am teaching mine. Where should we go next? We should go to Macy's. My lunch is in here and it's going to be good. The first thing I will be making is homemade hemp milk. It's a great source for omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. I give Aubrey a glass each day because like myself, I am being more intentional about her meals to ensure she is getting her daily nutrients. One thing I love about omega-3 is that it increases the diversity of healthy gut bacteria and it doesn't just support the gut, but your overall health as well. Keep in mind, 70% of your immune system is in your gut. Also, it's a great thing to consume to prevent treat or reverse illnesses such as IBS, leaky gut, stomach ulcers, and gastrointestinal cancers. One great thing about hemp milk is that you don't always have to strain it. The creamy consistency from the hemp seeds is useful as well and a great consistency for smoothies and homemade yogurts. I decided to give Arby a glass before I started on her lunch that she will be having at the park today.
For Aubrey's lunch, I will be making raw tuna salad. Instead of using nuts, I will be using sunflower seeds. I try to alternate between that and pumpkin seeds. The ingredients are celery, sweet pepper, sunflower seeds, onions, and tahini. This is where the food processor comes in handy. I have no idea what I would do without one. In this process, the only thing that I will be blending is sunflower seeds and tahini. I will also go in with my seasoning, which is salt and pepper, to give it a little flavor. When it comes to Arby's meals, simplicity is key for me. I tried to create meals she could easily make for herself in the future. Once it was all nicely blended, all I had to do was add in the veggies, just that simple. Now to get the creamy sticky texture of tuna, just add a little water in the mixing bowl and you have yourself a nice tuna-less salad. We finally made it to the park. I packed up her green juice along with her tuna list salad wraps, grapes, oranges, sweet peppers, strawberries, and dates. She also taught me into making a small batch of raw fudge brownies. Although I brought the brownies with us, I didn't let her have any until later in the evening. The plan was to have a picnic at the park, but it turned out to be lunch by the swings. She didn't want to leave the kids to come sit with me, so I brought lunch to her. She didn't eat much while we were there, but once we got in the car to leave was when she decided to eat. I decided to eat my lunch while I was there. I love these tuna list wraps because they are so tasty and the texture is perfect. I try to make it fun for Arby when it comes to her meals. I know being a high raw vegan can be challenging, especially when you're the only kid and you're seeing your friends eat what they want. I make sure I include her in everything so that she can see and understand the importance of living a healthy lifestyle. Right now, I can honestly say she is managing it well and I truly appreciate her efforts in continuing to do so. Dinner was quite simple. I made her a coconut avocado wrap with an apple and a glass of water. I can honestly say I am getting better at rolling up the coconut wraps. I'm a pro now. Last but not least, I am ending her night with a smoothie, and not just any smoothie, a banana smoothie with spirulina, hemp seeds, and dates. Spirulina in particular is a potent source of nutrients. It is rich in antioxidants and sharpens your brain power. My daughter is a piano player, and it amazes me every day how much she has learned on her own without her teacher's help. All of her meals are consumed by 7.45 p.m. Her morning begins at 6 a.m. and I think it's important that she has a certain amount of hours in a fasted state. This is not only important for adults, but for kids too. My goal is to ensure that her body is functioning on an optimal level. It has been a pleasure of mine to share this with you and I hope that it encourages you to introduce your children to a healthier lifestyle. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.